Now in hooking two wagons together we need a rod with an eye in one end. You've watched me do this before in other videos so I'm not going to take a lot of time in re-showing that this time. On the other end of this rod we need it to split for a bolt. You've seen me do this weld before on brake rod ends, so we're not going to redo this again. But this is what we need on the other end of the rod with an eye. This all hooks to what we're going to do today called the pelican hook. Now this hook needs to have an eye drawn out in one end, so I need to upset it. Now I apologize up front from past comments about my silly gloves. I think this is the last video where they'll show up. Now all this upsetting really is quite a process. I have to take about two and a half inches out. So I skipped through a lot of that just for the sake of being too boring. I didn't want to remove any material by punching it, so I tried to kind of just split my way through. Now this is a good case where I got all twisted up. Not very good at thinking ahead. I need to get the inside shoulders rounded over as well as the outside.
I need these two ends to come together and I eyeballed it a little off the first time. I'm gonna have to make a second go at it. Now this might bother some of the purists, but I butter together because I'm just going to welt it. I want this ring to just barely clear, so I'm going to adjust it just a touch. So this pelican hook actually is what connects and disconnects the two wagons. It's connected to the rod with the eye with the ring. So the drawbar on the first wagon on the front axle pulls the rod back to the pelican hook. The pelican hook is attached by two large rings to the next chain to the second wagon. The second wagon hooks to the horn and bumper with a clevis and a butt plate. This goes back to on this case where the double tree would have been on the second wagon and pulls the second wagon. Once again, thanks for watching.